Hi everyone, I meant to do a um, video yesterday. Actually, I recorded this exact thing yesterday, but um, I was interrupted by uh, the UPS man and um, having to go pick up my son. And I was a little sleep deprived after Baltimore. Uh, so I'll have a Baltimore Comic Con recap later today. And um, I just wanted to um, talk more about Tapas, basically just give an update because I did a video uh, a week ago uh, when I had first, um, well, I guess we in the last had been up on Tapas for um, a week. And I was contrasting um, the performance of uh, Tapas with uh, Webtoon. And when I went through my stats on, uh, see if I'm, where I am at on Webtoon right now, is I'm, I'm just kind of a steady upward climb. I'm at almost at 1,300 subscribers. And it's been uh, perpetually kind of going up at a steady rate. Uh, so when I um, showed the, uh, so within the first week of Webtoons, I, I was at um, 100 subscribers. Well, I posted that. No, well, I'm sorry. With, yeah, and then in, in the first week of Tapas, I had 35 subscribers. It was a very, very slow uh, thing. So I posted that video, and I went to Baltimore, and somebody had sent a message saying that I had had a huge influx. Like, I, all of a sudden, I had 100 more subscribers. And <clears throat> throughout, I, I, I had scheduled everything to upload while I was gone, and I noticed all of a sudden now I'm down to... So here's here's what the... the views jumped up to um my subscribers where are they if i can find the daily subscribers so on this thursday i suddenly gained 630 new subscribers and the next day and so something ob obviously happened here and it the, the you know it's been i've been getting more uh every day but um i was um somehow um i got put into the uh thursday snack where they list like five or six things to check out uh that went into everybody's inbox on this day and that kind of kick started the whole um influx of readers and i think i'm on the first page in the new and noteworthy um uh front page of of tapas so i don't know how that happened i guess some the, some one of the content directors or something um found it and put it on there so um that i was real surprised at that and um it's one of the things i've noticed that see here you have before that you know you always get a handful like a handful of subscribers i didn't get any that day You're just a, just a few three that day so it, it's it was really a visibility issue and i i think with webtoon it's um a lot easier for people, I guess, to discover things. It seems more organic, whereas here we had to get a um, a push from um, the uh, uh, tapas itself to kind of push it to the forefront. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I just uh, wanted to update that because the le where I left it last time, I was like, well, oh, tapas isn't really doing well, but um, that kind of changed. Um, so um, one of the things I did notice uh, in traditional comic books um you when you um uh, publish a comic and they pre-order it you, the second issue always gets cut in half <laughs> but that's exactly what happened with views here which is interesting but um i don't know hopefully um hopefully i can get some some decent um growth here as well as on webtoon um had a couple um questions that i need to pull up my um my youtube questions that uh, some people have been asking me or um uh, let's see uh someone said uh, simply tirza sorry if i said that wrong um at fourteen thousand readers and 100 on top of different huge difference uh, both start at the same time yeah um yeah, again, Tapas is really, uh, it doesn't have the same organic kind of thing. And somebody told me at Baltimore that there was a, and I'd be interested to hear from someone if if you were around and on Tapas when this happened, that they changed the terms of service trying to get like some rights or something, uh, like movie rights or something from whatever. And there was a huge exodus and they changed it back. Because when I read the terms of service, they were pretty much like Webtoon. It was fine. Um, but that a lot of people left tapas because of that i'm not sure that was drama i was not involved in 
Um, <clears throat> see, so yeah, Carrie says, love your, uh, blah, blah, blah. I have a web comment called Docs, Dawn of Zeno, D O X, Dawn of Zeno. Give me a shout out. Well, there's your shout out. I guess people can search for that on Webtoon, I'm assuming. Um, I get questions about what I make the comic in. Let's see if I can find the. So here's the, the page. Uh, all of this is uh, digital, so I draw in Clip Studio Paint. Uh, this was actually Manga Studio 5, but same thing. Um, and then I color. I started drawing the first chapter by hand, and so I was coloring in Photoshop. That's traditionally how things are done. Um, but I didn't want the colors to change like halfway through, so I'm doing the all. I'm still doing. I'm doing the line art in Clip Studio, and I'm doing um, the colors in Photoshop. The next series I do will probably probably be all in um, Clip Studio Paint. Uh, let's see. Uh, as a topless reader, I've considered reading a, a web comic. But one problem is, sorry, I'm, I'm mumbling as I'm reading through this. See, the, I feel like they're really pushing you to read only the popular, stable comics. I haven't found a newly released section. Um, there, there's a new and noteworthy, but I'm not exactly sure what constitutes noteworthy um, because I had 35 subscribers when I got put on there. I guess it, it's a quality as a judgment call, maybe, for someone who's looking for content. I don't know. Um, yeah, that might be all of the... Uh, oh, there's another one. Um, someone on Webtoon, on the Webtoon video, Moy's channel, said they did one uh, called Sad Robot. Um, and uh, it's another question about... Uh, a comic similar in tone with a hundred bullets, but they won't permit a comic like that. A uh, webtoon might not. I'm not exactly sure because I mean I, my comics all ages. Um, I do notice that Tapas has a um, mature content switch that you can, you know, enable on it. So, so anyway, um, that's kind of where Tapas stands right now. And uh, like I said, I'll have a Baltimore review coming up later today, and. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, subscribe down here in this little area right here, little icon. Check out a couple of my other videos over here, and down here below this, there's a little bell. If you hit that, you'll be notified when I actually put up videos, because if you just subscribe, you may or may not be notified. So, um, just a quick one to, uh, for this, and uh, I will um, give another video here shortly. And uh, thanks for watching.